Well, everyone, first sorry about this, I forgot the shades, second of all, I was only gonna give a little quick here, saying something like uh, the bonus chapter for the seven deadly sins, the one who tells about King's sin, was uh, finally revealed. It turns out also that there w many questions was answered, but also many were course still asked the questions that were the questions that were answered was first of all one of the reasons why king loves diana so very much is because once upon a time he actually knew diana when diana was a smaller giant yeah and she knew his real name too but for them time passed differently they met some humans and even the descendants of that humans but apparently King suffered from memory loss, but he could not recall, he recalled memories of his past, but he could never remember where he came from or what he did. It wasn't until later that he, and he was best friends with Helbrem, the fairy. But one day Helbrem wanted to go outside in the, go outside in the, from the fairy realm and uh, visit humans. At first... Uh, Harley Quinn was against that because well he did not trust humans and while he is and while he met the descendant of that old man and others he, uh, he still he uh, got better in trusting them however once uh, the time when he tried to save Helbrim Helbrim was attacked by an old man looking similar to the transformation Helbrim has now and he uh, was killing the fairies and taking their wings, thinking that humans thought if they ate uh, fairy wings, they would live longer. But one, when he finally recalled that, uh, it was also the first time when he was also living with Diana. He also made Diana her jumpsuit. And also, he, she made him promise as a fairy that he would always love her no matter what. So... Um, so he did. King loves uh, Diana because of that promise he has made and uh, because he cared for her for so very long. But then one one time he uh, saw he when he finally remembered who he was after so many years, probably 500 years or whatever, he got a shock. Uh, when he returned to a village, he ha he had slowly befriended all the humans were slaughtered, and the bearded man was there. However, that bearded ma man this time was not he was not uh, the bearded man. It was Helbrum, who had transformed into that man in order to not forget his anger and his hate. Yeah, that's true. Because he was so naive, and because he was found humans intriguing, he said he envied them how they could live so long and still made every moment count because a fairy apparently is quasi-immortal, or perhaps they are immortal. Because after all, we know a fairy can live for over 700 years. So yeah, maybe they are immortal. And he envied that they could uh, live so long. Diana also envied them a bit, probably because they could live so normal or whatever. But then... It, uh, but then apparently he they he got captured by merchants he and his fairy friends and the merchants tore off the fairy's wings even when he was watching they gave him an intense hatred for all the fairies and he has vowed to kill them all since then five, and he's been doing that for 500 years and that is one of king's sins he got memory loss because when Helbrim was going away to visit humans, King wanted to stop him uh, because he was his best friend. And But when he got memory loss, he could no longer remember to stop Helbrim. Therefore, he considered his sin that he turned a blind eye to his friend's madness. And also, later, we find out another sin was the reason why he never returned to his sister was because he had even forgotten, forgotten about her. Eventually, he made even Diana forget about him by using uh, 
yeah, the reason why he said was, why are you alive, Helbrim, is because he used a flower in order to pierce his heart. But Helbrim somehow survived that. We come to that later. And he did the same to Diana, except he did not pierce her heart. He gave her a sleeping pill or whatever. That became his sin, and he was sentenced to jail for 10,000 years, promising Diana that even though Diana will forget about him, he will never forget about her. And sure enough, once she awakens, she could not remember him at all. Okay, here were the questions that was so eagerly answered. Um, it's like... The reason King loves Diana is because he cared for her a long time ago. The reason why... The reason why Slo King was sloth because he lost his memory and therefore could not see his friend's madness nor his sister. Sister constantly waiting. And um, the reason Diana has a jumpsuit is because of King. The reason his real name is... Uh, she, she said his real name was because he had forgotten about him. him. And the reason why uh, uh, Helbram lost his loved ones was because of the humans. Oh, I'm pretty sure you saw my eyes. Sorry, this is just an. This is just. I forgot the shades, so even though this is lame, I have to do this. Prefer not to show my eyes, even though it's. I know they are seen now. However, some questions were not answered according to me. One of them was uh, if Helbram now hates humans, why. Uh, why did uh, why did he why does he serve Hendrickson or could it be that Hendrickson is not really a human it could it be that uh, he is uh, he is also some kind of half demon or whatever or could it be that he's only serving him because he knows Hendrickson's real plan and that will decimate humankind, therefore putting it extinction? Hendrickson does that in order to prepare the Holy Knights for something, but Hen but maybe Helbram himself knows that that's impossible and therefore he, he only do does it because he thinks it will only destroy humanity. Or is it to the fact that he owes Hendrickson a debt? Because we can assume Hendrickson was the one who uh, saved uh, Helbram. And finally, uh, the the bearded man attacked King, and that uh, and King fell into a river, and Diana found him. That's how he lost his memory. But I wonder, did he really suffer from memory loss? Well, the I guess. And finally, what was exactly the promise that King made with Helbram? Was it just this, that he? turn a blind eye to everything because of his memory loss. Either way, that was this one. Huge info, and uh, I probably said too much, but we finally got some answers about King's sin. Now all we need to do is see Diana's, and also Gother's, and of course Merlin's and Escanor's, but we do not know them yet. But I have a feeling Melidiora's sin, though. We will see that in a maiden story, not in a side. I'll see you in another.